Math 98, and we're going to talk about section 7.2. And in sub section um, 7.2, we are going to start factoring uh, polynomials, trinomials, um, other than just like when they're in groups of four. And so before we do, let's think about some mechanics of multiplication, because we've, we've talked a little bit about how factoring is undoing multiplication. So let's think about if we had x plus 2 times uh, x plus 5. If we multiply that out, you know, x times x is x squared, x times 5 is 5x, uh, 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times 5 is 10. And if we add these two together, we get x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now, um, that's multiplication, right? We're going this way, and that's multiplying. And what we want to do is undo it. We want to factor it. Given, given this, what would be the original thing that it came from, the x plus 2 times x plus 5? And that's really going to help us to think about the pieces here. Think about where that 10 came from. That's this multiplication right here, the 2 times 5 gave us our 10. So that 10 comes from multiplying those two numbers together. And now, if you think about where the, uh, the 7 came from, there's your 2x, and there's your 5x. So notice, it's those two numbers added together. So the numbers that are here and here multiply to that, but add to that. So let's use that to start thinking about ways that we could factor, ways that we could uh, break these break these apart. So x squared plus 7x. So we want to write this as something times something else. And the thing that we know is the numbers that are here or here are going to multiply to 12 but add to 7. And you might see it right away. If you don't, um, just start thinking about a factors of 12, 1 times 12. That doesn't add to 7. 2 times 6. That doesn't add to 7. 3 times 4. That adds to 7. So we could say x plus 3 times x plus 4. And if we're not feeling comfortable, you know, with that being the answer or not, we could multiply it out and get there. But that's it. Notice those multiply to 12, add to 7. Um, and I also want to point out, if I wrote x plus 4 times x plus 3, you can multiply in whatever order you want. Order is commutative. Um, so both these answers. Great. So let's dig into a couple more of these. And so we want to uh, we want to factor them. So I've got uh, q squared plus 14q plus 24. Um, so things that multiply to 24 and add to 14. So things that multiply to 24 are 1 and 24, 2 and 12. Oh, there it is right there. 2 times 12 uh, is 24. 2 plus 12 is 14. So it would be q plus 2 times q plus 12. All right, next one. Uh, p squared minus 11p is 28. Okay, this is interesting. I want things that multiply to 28, a positive number, but add to a negative 11. So I think these will both have to be negative. You know, like negative 1 and negative 28, right? Those would multiply to a positive number. Uh, let's keep going. Negative 2, negative 14. No, uh, 3 doesn't go into it. Negative 4 and negative 7. Oh, that's it right there. 7 and 4, both negative. So P minus 4, P minus 7. Um, next one, same thing. We want them to add to a negative, but multiply to a positive. So they both must be negative. I actually think I no, I don't. I thought I saw it right away, but I didn't. So how about negative one, negative three? Nope. Nope, two doesn't go into it. How about negative three? Doesn't look like it. Negative hmm. Six and negative seven. I think so. Oh, that would be a nine, wouldn't it be? Not a six. What I did was I broke the 21 up into a 2 times 7. I'm sorry, a 3 times 7, and then 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 and 7. That adds to negative 16. So W minus 9, W 
see a couple more up here. All right, so things that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 4. And since this multiplies to a negative, they're going to have to be opposite signs. I also notice that they add to a negative number. So um, when I pick my numbers over here, I'm going to make the bigger one negative, right? Because when I combine them by addition, that'll make that negative. So how about 1 and negative 12, 2 and negative 6? There it is. That adds to negative 4. H plus 2 h minus 6. Same sort of thinking here, the, the, since it adds to a negative, the negative number is going to have to be the, the greater in magnitude of the two. Five, well, 5 is just 5 and 1, negative 5 and 1, so x plus 1. Okay, and this one, they multiply to negative 10, add to 3. Uh, the larger of the two, the, the bigger in magnitude is going to have to be the positive 1. Negative 2. And positive. That's it. Oops, it's a B, not an X. All right, and then this last one uh, things that multiply to negative 15, uh, positive 15, add to negative 6. So these go both got to be negative. 5. No. And nothing else. Right, 15, I mean, I could switch the 5 and the 3, but it's not going to change anything. So notice there's nothing here that works. So actually this one, I can't factor it. It's not factorable. If that happens, I'm going to say it's a prime. It's a prime polynomial. Just like with numbers, right? 12 is not prime because I can write it as 3 times 4 or 2 times 6 or something like that. But 13 is prime because the only way I can break it up is 1 times itself. It doesn't have any factors other than 1 in itself. That's a prime number. This is a prime polynomial. It cannot be factored. All right, two more examples. So notice on these, the setup. I've got a squared, a times b, b squared. x squared, x times y, y squared. So when I factor these, there'll be an a and a b in each of these, right? Because when I multiply them out, b squared, a squared, those middle terms, a times b, a times b. And then I can do what I was doing before. What multiplies to 36 adds to 12. And in this case, uh, I think it is 6 and 6. 6 times 6, yep. So let's say a plus 6b, a plus 6b. Uh, since it's some, I can leave it like this. Since it's something times itself, I could also write it as a plus 6b squared, right? Sometimes it's. Uh, as I look at this one, both negative. Oh, I've got an x and a y. x, y in the middle, x squared, y squared multiplies to 12, adds to negative 13. So they both have to be negative. And how about negative 1 and negative 12? And that's one that people often will forget about the 1 in itself. So minus 1y, minus 12y. And we're there. Hey, give those problems a try. Uh, that practice set, send me any questions that you have, message me or post them in the forum.